to all my fellow DoorDashers out there. Today, I'm going to show and teach you how to maximize your profitability and efforts while doing food deliveries. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does he know about doing such things? He's just some fat guy who lives in a trailer. Well, hopefully today, I'm going to prove those people wrong. I'm not here to sell you anything, and you don't have to buy anything. You don't have to like my video, and you don't have to subscribe, because honestly, I don't care about that. I'm just here to help people and make their dashing a little bit easier and more profitable without sacrificing their time and effort. So I'm going to get straight to the point and not give you my boring life story. So here we go. I do DoorDash and Uber Eats at the same exact time. And today I'm going to be telling you how I have been making $300 to $350 a day while working 14 hour shifts with no days off. If you're willing to put in the time and the effort, you can make that much money. Guaranteed. Number one activate everything have doordash uber eats and grubhub activate at the same time you won't regret it there have been times when i made more money with uber eats or i made more money with grubhub and usually the majority of my money comes from doordash but some days are different from others they're so different number two <clears throat> skip the speaker box skip the line the first thing to remember is which restaurants go ahead and prepare the order for you before you even get there Wendy's and Taco Bell, you always have to go to the speaker box no matter what, but there are some restaurants where you don't have to do that. Skip the, skip, sorry, skip the speaker box at McDonald's and Zaxby's if the lobby is closed. I forgot to mention that. If there is a huge line at the speaker box, don't go to it. Jump behind the person who, has a, who is at the next window or go ahead and drive up right up to the window if there's nobody there. I have done it plenty of times before. Nobody ever got mad. Nobody ever even honked a horn. You don't have to wait in line to pick up your order. Chick-fil-A is another place where they're pretty lenient about walking up to the drive through window when the lobby is closed and picking up the order. I didn't feel like waiting in line for 30 minutes just to make $6, so they went ahead and gave it to me on two separate occasions. Just be careful. Just be sure you don't you show them the order on your phone so you can verify that you are the person delivering it. It's already paid for you, so you don't have to worry about anything else except picking up the order. Just make them understand make them understand that you don't want to wait in line half an hour for six dollars don't worry about the cars behind you they'll understand prioritize your orders and address list when you go to walmart to do an in-store pickup and you have multiple orders that you have to scan after the scanning process is complete go through your phone go through each address for example i had five orders in five different addresses i had to go through each one to make sure which one is the closest to me doordash will put the orders in order for you you have to do it yourself simply Click on the icon with the three lines in the top right corner area if it doesn't allow you to jump from task to task. Then click on the individual Walmart order instead of the name. If it doesn't give you the option, then from there, go from person to person and choose who is closest to you. Please note that you have to get directions for each delivery to know exactly how far and where you're going, so be mindful of that. <clears throat> I actually recorded a short tutorial video of the process, but I couldn't use it because it had their full names and addresses. So for privacy and security reasons, I couldn't use it. Just remember, you can jump from task to task. It's your choice which order you want to do first and which one you want to do last. Number four, this is important. Walmart is your gold mine. If you have outside orders to pick up, when you wait in the reservation spot at Walmart, it's okay to do in-between orders with Uber Eats or Grubhub. You would want to call Walmart pick up to see the status of your current orders. For example, I had two Walmart orders to pick up and they told me they're still picking one of them out. And I said, Okay, that's perfectly fine. I have a food order to deliver. I was actually able to deliver three restaurant orders before I had to pick up the Walmart orders. And I came back in time to pick those up and I was making triple the money at the time. Don't be afraid to expand your time and money making. Walmart orders take up a huge chunk of your effort. So be efficient, so be efficient about what you do and how you do it. Number five, pretty much common sense. Bring a flashlight. I'll admit my eyesight isn't that great at night so i bring a high beam flashlight with me every time to make sure i have the right apartment or a house address <clears throat> number six bring small incentives with you snacks drinks you know mostly drinks anyway i made an uber eats delivery one day and i was a little late because i had to do a doordash food delivery before the uber and i left two small gatorade bottle drinks with the uber talk about order to make up for being a little late and they still gave me a hefty tip and a thumbs up rating on my uber account because of this not only that, they didn't order any drinks, so I left them a few. Believe me, they will appreciate it. Glitches in the system. If Walmart or a restaurant establishment tells you <clears throat> tells you that a certain order has already been picked up by someone else, it's 
it's perfectly okay to go ahead and confirm the pickup and deliver it even though you don't actually have the order. Go ahead and confirm the pickup and drive to the address and confirm that you dropped it off and you're done. Free and clear payment without even leaving your car. It's not your fault that DoorDash wasted your time and effort. You will not get in trouble. You know, don't worry about a contract violation or a dispute or a complaint. You don't got to worry about that. Number eight, don't always trust the GPS. Avoid the back roads and the service roads. Always depend on the freeway to get where you're going, especially when you have access to do a turnaround because in my case, the GPS always has to self-correct. Number nine, skip the picture process. I have made over 1,300 DoorDash deliveries and I have never taken a single picture to prove that I dropped off the order because honestly, I didn't have to. It saves me so much time and it allows me to get to other orders to make more money quicker. Not a single person texted me or filed a dispute or complained saying their order was never delivered because I always delivered. I park my car and I confirm the drop off and I quickly get out and I make the drop off before they answer the door because it allows me... It allows more orders to come in and accept the right one instead of wasting time taking pictures to confirm the drop off. When it's slow, accept what you get. When it's slow, go ahead and accept the orders that give you $1 per mile. When it's busy, only accept orders that give you $2 per mile. I never accept any orders below $5 because honestly, it's not worth it. Don't waste your time in line for a late night order at Taco Bell for $7. You will be stuck in line for at least half an hour. Don't waste your time, mileage, or gas on one trip. Unless you actually have multiple orders, there really is no point in driving 20 miles out from your starting point just to make some money because you're wasting all that time driving back another 20 miles just to get back to work. For example, it's definitely not worth driving 20 miles for $20 unless you have a gas saver, then it's actually worth it. Number 12, always start your shift early. From my experience, I make a lot more money if I start early in the morning, for example, around 6 or 7 a.m. because later in the day, it tends to slow down and you're sitting around for half for an hour or so until you... You get hit with orders again also not to mention during peak pay that's when everyone else is out there trying to make more money because they're getting paid extra so start as early as possible to make as much money as possible on my downtime i like to spend that at home whenever it's slow and i'm not getting any orders i just sit back and relax until i get one so there you go everyone i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial uh to actually help you out and gave you some helpful insight and pointers on how to get yourself out there and make that money or should i say make more money but it has been my pleasure to give you these helpful tips hints tips and tricks up until now so until sorry i'm out of breath so until next time until i have more to show you and teach you i will keep you up to date as much as i can uh, thank you and safe travels